excuse me. That's an interesting way to say hi. Um, hey, it's Dr. Lowenstein. And I just, I'm reviewing uh, a chart for patients uh, that I'm seeing on Monday. And we've got a lot of people who are on, um, who are on Facebook who say, you know, does this surgery work for this diagnosis or that diagnosis or the other diagnosis? And I'm reading through this um, person's stuff and in this one patient from the same doctor, she has diagnosis, diagnoses of just headaches, <clears throat> followed by another diagnosis of new persistent daily headache, followed by uh, occipital neuralgia, followed by Uh, another new daily persistent headache, followed by migraine, followed by chronic migraine with aura, intractable with status migrainous. Now, this is all, this is not only the same patient, but it's the same doctor giving this patient, what, four different diagnoses? And hey, here's the deal. There is nothing to fault the patient or the doctor. The point is that these diagnoses are not written in stone, okay? And so um, headaches, severe headaches and migraines are a huge spectrum of, of, uh, of pain, of symptoms, um, and of associated uh, symptoms. And as such, they can carry several different names. And so it's not so important really what the name is. If you have severe headaches that are frequent, particularly more frequent than let's say five to seven a month, <clears throat> then you have uh, some type of migraine headache, uh, likely, um, and especially if you have associated symptoms um, and if the pain is, is very severe. So I shouldn't say that. If you get seven headaches uh, and you're having a stressful month, then you may have stress headaches. But listen, here's the deal, actually. A lot of people have stress headaches frequently, often, and persistently. Now, you could call those migraines if you want. A lot of people here will probably come on, on Facebook and say those are not migraines, you shouldn't call them that. My argument is that headache surgery, migraine surgery, um, nerve decompression surgery can um, be really helpful with persistent stress headaches, migraines, status migrainous, occipital neuralgia, new daily persistent headaches, um, <clears throat> I have migraines with aura. Um, all, all of these kinds of diagnoses um, are often amenable to any given type of, um, of uh, therapy. And in this case, um, we've seen and improved all of those types of uh, people um, and all of those types of diagnoses uh, in the uh, migraine surgery and you know nerve nerve decompression uh, surgery world. So it, again, it's not so important, you know, to to give it a name as to say, look, if you're having head pain that is severe and significantly impacting your life, then you should seek some 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 help and migraine surgery is, is one of the ways that, that you may be able to uh, achieve and probably would be able to achieve help. Now, again, it's not, don't, migraine surgery is not the first thing to go to, but it, it, again, I, I, I don't want people to perseverate on, I have this diagnosis, so um, uh, nerve decompression surgery will work or won't work, or uh, Imitrex will work or, or won't work. In this patient today, we've seen four different diagnoses 
the same patient from the same doctor. And so it's, it's not, uh, it's not uh, something to be categorized and, uh, and uh, have, have your care directed just because of, of this category. So anyway, I hope uh, this little information, bit of information helps. <clears throat> I'm sure it will create a, a world of, of comments here. Um, which I'm ha happy to talk about. But again, my goal is to make people um, have less pain. And we can do that with a lot of different names. So, all right. Have a great weekend. Hopefully pain-free. Take care.